In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the best profitable niches for merch by Amazon using AMZ Scouts. Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. Addy here, back with another video. So hey, look guys, I'm going to be straight with you. There's no right or wrong way of doing merch by Amazon research. It really boils down to what you really enjoy and what gives you the best results. I'm going to go to my computer and show you exactly how to find profitable niches. So it's going to be a 100% practical way of doing it. So you really need to follow right from the start till the end so that you don't miss any valuable information but look guys i'm going to be completely straight with you there's no right or wrong way of doing merch by amazon research it just boils down to what you really enjoy and what gives you the best results personally i found great results using spy tools but also amazing results using the manual way which is diving straight into amazon data which is what i'm going to show you right now and figuring out what the best niche is i'm going to show you exactly how i do it guys so that you can go ahead and find your profitable niches for yourself so step number one guys i like to go to this website called merch research let's type it right here merch research like so and this is the link that we want to click guys and it takes you to this website right here we don't want to enter any keyword we just want to go straight to search now we get the best selling results for merch by amazon now we don't want to research this right here's what we want to do we want to go to last 30 days and the reason why i want to do that is because guys we want to find the best t-shirts that have just been uploaded to merch by amazon that are selling really really well and which have a bsr that is really low and that's the ultimate goal but see you need to understand guys that if you want to go through all this data it just takes too long guys so what we want to do is we want to filter the data and here is how we do it guys i use an extension called amz scout so when i open my amz scout extension it filters everything for me based on what i tell it to do if i say i only want t-shirts that have a bsr between zero and two hundred thousand, if i say that i only want it to pull designs that have been uploaded within the last two weeks then that's what it will do and here is how we do it guys so i go to filter right here and i go say from zero to two hundred thousand. i don't worry about anything else and i click apply and what i do is i click on next page right here on this up arrow right here and i click next five pages you can do 20 pages but i find that you know doing it five by five doesn't take a toll on my computer so click on next five pages and wait for it to do its thing and watch the results go up guys and basically what we're doing guys is that we're filtering all the results all the designs that have a bsr between zero to two hundred thousand. but also at the same time those designs have just been uploaded within the last 30 days and this is how we catch trends so guys it looks like it's done pulling data i can choose to pull another five pages if i want to but for now i'll just keep it as it is i don't have time to waste doing that i'm just showing you an example and here is one of the reasons why i love amz scouts guys is because it gives us this average 30 day bsr we can visually see if a design has had a bsr that's been dropping and we can go straight to it for example this one right here look it's bsr is dropping and dropping and dropping this one for example you know it was up and then it started dropping this one right here it was up started dropping and so on and so forth more importantly you can actually rank by bsr and this is what we want to do bsr from low to high fantastic you can check the price estimated sales i don't care about any of that kind of stuff i only care about bsr at this stage and as we hover over the design we can see the picture of the design and at this stage guys all you got to do is go through them one by one and open them in another tab and then investigate the niche from there let me show you how we do it so for example we open this one right here obviously it takes us to another tab as you can see it's just been uploaded on the 3rd of july right so about three weeks ago so i'm gonna copy this bit right here i'm ready to crush kindergarten dinosaur copy it and paste it maybe add t-shirt and see what it comes up with right we've got 5,000 results and this is where we make the decision is the niche worth it to enter or not we look at two things we look at the number of results which is our competition and we look at the demand of that design does it have much demand and is the demand worth it to enter even though there's high competition for example now we're looking at 5,000 results and that is a lot but if there's enough demand to compensate then we can enter this niche it all depends on that ratio between competition and demand supply and demand baby simple economics right so let's break this down at the moment we can see 134,000 19 98 89 yes you know it's moving there's action in there do you want to get into it or not there is action in this niche but the competition is absolutely crazy you got to come up with a new idea or add something to the idea and make it a bit more unique make it a bit more appealing because at the moment all the designs pretty much look the same you got to hit your customers with something that pops in a sea of designs because at the moment to me it looks like everything is the same and you know who's going to be selling it's the people at the top
top of the page. So yeah, this is a good candidate, but you've got to be quite clever in terms of how you make your design and how you differentiate it so that you can stand out amongst the sea of competition. Right, next. Oh my God, Gucci. Guys, please don't do these kind of designs because your accounts will get terminated pretty much immediately. It's just that Amazon has not caught up to the fact that this guy is doing Gucci designs. As soon as they find out, I guarantee you this guy will not get a slap on the wrist. They'll get their account terminated straight away. So don't do it. Categorically, no. So this one right here looks like a copyright, so I'm not gonna do it. Let's go down. Today, I don't feel like doing anything except my wife. I do her. Right, fair enough. <laughs> this is funny. So again, we opened it on another tab and we're gonna copy the title and paste it on the tab again and check what's going on right here. 214 results, right? Okay, cool. So not bad competition right there. We need to find out if the title exists in the whole of the competition because sometimes that title that we're searching for is only in maybe the first page or the second page, but not throughout the whole search results, right? As you're getting through the pages, you start encountering irrelevant results. So let's make sure this is not the case. But first of all, let's check the BSR. From a competition point of view, it looks pretty good, right? BSR, 33,000, very good. 104, very good. 120, very good. 252K, not too bad. 500, not bad. 300, 500. Pretty much all the results that are in the first and second row are doing well, except the third row, which hasn't sold yet. Would I enter this niche or not? Yes, I would potentially, because it doesn't have too much competition. So I'd probably, you know, go for it. Why not? Give it a go. And the main thing is, guys, when you go to the third page, you're still able to see 214 results, which is very good. And this shows that it only has 214 results. Sometimes when you go to third page, suddenly the search results jump to say a thousand or two thousand or even ten thousand, depending on how big the niche is. But check this out, guys. Towards the end of page three, the results are no longer relevant. So we start to see irrelevant results. This means that we only have three pages worth of relevant results. And that is all our competition, right? So maybe this niche is a pretty good candidate. Right, next, let's have a look. Right, we've got Biden. Biden the quicker, I'm not gonna say this word, but yeah, <laughs> let's check it out. Again, copy it onto the search box and click enter and check what's going on. 130 results. Now we need to check the BSR. 38K, 122K, 67K, 204K guys. Absolutely crazy. Look at this. This is selling guys. It's selling like hotcakes. Look at the BSR. Looks very good. This looks like a brand new niche guys. So um, you, you got to get into it as soon as possible. Let's check page number three to see how many results altogether. Still 130 results. This is a hot niche. You guys need to get into it before it's too late of course. And guys the idea is just keep going through them one by one. Make sure that the designs are not copyrighted. For example this looks like a copyright. I'm not going to touch it. Keep going through them. Make sure that the design that you're trying to get into is something that you can get into and produce a very good high quality design otherwise there's no need to try and compete with a crappy design it's not going to sell or if it is a simple design make sure that it is a presentable design right an appealing design simple but nice looking if it's a very simple basic text design no issue no biggie as long as it looks good and it has a nice font nice typography no problem with that but again study the niche and make sure that that type of design will work in your niche if you guys want to grab this extension amz scout i've got a link down below so you can get a discount make sure you check it out amazing 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 in terms of filtering the data and going straight into amazon's data without having to wait for a spy software to process all the data and maybe you might get data that is quite old so with this extension guys as you could see we're going straight into amazon's data and we're diving straight into it and pulling the data straight from amazon again guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more videos don't forget to share the video with your friends so that they can benefit as well and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so that you guys get the videos as soon as i upload them and so that you don't miss any valuable information thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video